Man, what's up with the collective? Y'all know we back with another banger, another reaction. I appreciate everybody who been tapping in, running up, and subbing up. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so you always notified whenever we drop them uploads. Y'all know we coming with about four videos every smooth seven, man. And this is for entertainment purposes as well. And when you like and comment and subscribe to the channel, helps collective grow, helps collective get bigger, helps more people who like this type of content tap in with this content, man. I do see the comments, some of y'all keep telling me, Man, I ain't getting notified when you drop a video. I need y'all to make sure y'all hitting that bell and y'all making sure that y'all turning all the notifications on. I don't know what, why it's not notifying y'all, but just run through it again, check it, make sure. So you never miss an upload, bro. And I know I see some of the comments and y'all love that smooth seven. So yeah, but think we gonna, we gonna go ahead and probably drop some merch with that too. Give me some time. So you already know what it is, but I ain't gonna hold you. Let's get straight to the video man let's go what's a weird fact that keeps you up at night we have no idea where lars mctank disappeared to if you don't know who that is quick story time because this bothers me and i wanted to bother you so lars is a 28 year old german man on vacation in bulgaria right it's 2014 he's out there with his friends they get into an argument with some guys about soccer he disappears from his friends Comes back the next morning and is like, yo, I got beat up by those dudes we was fighting with. Lars has a ruptured eardrum. He can't fly home with his friends on the day that they're supposed to go. They supposed to stay. He's like, no, no, no. Everything's cool. I'll just fly back the next day. Don't worry about it. He checks into a new hotel and then starts acting crazy on camera. Starts acting erratic and paranoid and all that. He only stays one night there. The next day, he goes to the airport and he goes to see the airport doctor. And then he comes out of the airport doctor's office and runs away like he's at the airport to go home and when he comes out of the airport doctor's office he gets like super paranoid and runs away from the airport and i mean like he climbs a fence and another fence to get out he doesn't take like the traditional entrance and exits he he escapes the airport for some reason and then we never saw him again We just never saw him again. He disappeared in 2014 at an airport with cameras. And he was like, by all accounts, fine. He was at the airport to go home. What happened? Yeah, what happened? The most famous missing person on YouTube, Lars Mittank, disappeared one day out of the blue while on vacation with friends in Varna, Bulgaria in July of 2014. It's been almost a decade, and still, his whereabouts remain unknown despite various sightings coming in from all over the world. His disappearance has been shrouded in mystery based on his odd behavior towards his friends, his strange calls to his mom, and his weird reaction to the antibiotic given to him by a doctor for an ear injury. What also makes this case interesting to everyone is the fact that Lars's last known sighting was all captured by airport security video. He ran off for reasons unknown, presumably hopped the fence, and no one has seen him since. I've never heard of this before. This is the most disturbing disappearance caught on camera. Lars Mittank was a 28-year-old from Berlin. In June 2014, he was heading off on his first lad's holiday to Bulgaria. They were staying at Golden Sands just outside of Varna. Now the holiday was going well, but just prior to their departure, the day before they left, they went to the pub to watch a World Cup game. During the match, Lars got into an argument with another group of German tourists. After the argument, the two groups then left separately and Lars headed to McDonald's with his friends. He waited outside for them as they got food, but when they returned, he disappeared. He reappeared the next day and told them he'd been beaten up by four men hired by the Germans at the bar. He'd got an injured jaw and a ruptured eardrum. Now, due to his injuries, a doctor advised that he didn't fly home. He was also prescribed an antibiotic, Cefprozil. Lars's friends offered to stay with him, but he insisted that they got their flights home. Lars checked out of the original hotel that he'd been staying in and checked into the Hotel Kalavana because it was cheaper and near to the airport. Now, when he was left to stay on his own, he began to get quite paranoid. He called his mum Sandra in the night and whispered to her that people were trying to kill or rob him and she should cancel his credit cards. 
CCTV footage captured him wandering up and down the hotel hallways, checking out of windows and hiding in a lift for a long period of time. At 1am he was seen leaving the hotel and he returned about an hour later and we have no idea what he did in this time. He called his mum again saying that the people who were after him were getting closer. He was seen at Varna airport on July the 8th. He went to see the doctor at the airport to check he was okay to fly and apparently his behaviour was erratic. The doctor said he was very nervous and he was asking a lot of questions about his medication. The airport was under construction and a construction worker walked in during the consultation. This caused Lars to get very anxious and run out of the room. He shouted, I don't want to die here, I have to get out of here. He sprinted out of the airport and was seen climbing over a barbed wire fence. He ran into a field and was seen sprinting off in the direction of a forest near a highway. This was the last known sighting of Lars. His family hired a private detective to try and get answers, but they haven't had any luck. Now, I hate to do this, but I'm getting very frustrated because my 10 minute feature has been taken away from me. I have loads of theories about what's happened to Lars, but I can't fit them all into this video, which is really frustrating. I've done a massive deep dive on my YouTube channel and my link is in my bio. Damn, I ain't never heard of that story. I ain't, I, I thought it would just be interesting. I, I just, yeah, I seen them popping up. So I was like, let me check these out. Let me hey, put in the comments. Have you heard of this before? What have you heard? Because I'm going to have to look a little deeper now because I didn't even, if I had known that it was going, she had more behind that, I would have probably went deeper down that rabbit hole. But yeah, that's, that's kind of crazy. I'll be good. But the only thing I can think of is maybe somebody slipped something that he ingested the wrong way, you know, or maybe he took something the paranoia made me think he was geeking off something like i i could be reaching but i hope he good i hope he good i hope he just wanted to go missing want to leave everybody you leave his life behind i don't know but let me know what y'all know spam it up have you ever wondered why the transmission towers look like the baphomet this is from the seal portion chapter 93 and your children shall witness all the great leaders among men and all those who have received praise and adoration from men, even those who are set up because of their popularity in athletics and in the image of the beast, which shall be broadcast upon the housetops of all the people of the earth. Behold, this image shall be broadcast by way of what ye shall call that which shall give unto you a vision, television, or an image of the beast by way of undulations of natural impulses that are cast up in the air and underground and receive into each household of the earth, even upon the housetops, deceiving those who have given their hearts and minds to the beasts who have caused this miracle and given this image unto them. And by this means shall the whole earth be deceived by Shatan, and the people of the earth shall learn of him those things which he would teach unto them. There shall be many who are made popular and rich from the transmissions of the image of the beast upon the world. And these shall be despised by Yahya when he cometh to judge the world. For in that day there shall be the rich and the famous, and those who are well known because of the means of the technology that shall broadcast the image of the beast upon every housetop throughout the land. And these shall present an image of their own persona that others shall see, and after which others shall pattern their lives. And the whole earth shall begin to worship the image of the beast in such a way that they shall forget about the father, Abaya, and know not from which they came, and by whose hand they came into being. Behold, in the latter days, there shall be great pride and vanity throughout the earth, because of the image that the beast shall present unto you, and cause you to worship. Yea, the image of the beast shall cause that there shall be a standard set for the appearance of a man and a woman, and the people of the earth shall begin to worship the image, and do all in their power to follow this image and reach this standard of beauty that had been set for them. And there shall be many who again deny the power of Yah and also their belief in Yah and that which they have been given according to the natural order of all things. For the standard of beauty that shall be set by the image of the beast shall be that which all desire. And if by the course of nature this beauty is not had by many of those of the latter days. Then shall they go to the doctors and the physicians, 
who shall receive a knowledge and an expertise. And I say unto you, that ye that doeth these things, denieth the power of the Father, Abiyah, and shall be condemned for that which ye have done to yourself, which is contrary to the order of nature that maintaineth a balance in all things. And these changes which you shall make for yourself <clears throat> shall cause you more misery than the temporary joy that they shall give unto you. When you look into a mirror and behold the image of that which you have been convinced is the standard of beauty that shall be maintained. Y'all know that portal in Michigan? I'm going to try to put all these all these little pictures and stuff up of, of the VMAs. This crazy. Hold on. Okay, I want y'all to look at this. Now, I just did a video, and I was talking about um, how there will begin to be sightings and things like UFOs. Um, please go watch that video because it's going to make this, is going to make sense. This happened at the VMAs. Her name is her. Her name is Sabrina Carpenter. And see, I be loving the creators, but y'all be wanting it too bad. Y'all want it too bad. Now, this is the best picture that I could put up here. This is what the visual of what Katy Perry came out with. I'm gonna go down the lyrics of what her lyrics is during this set that she did on the VMA. She, the, some of the lyrics said, you could be the devil or you could be an angel. This is a portal, okay? I want y'all to see this, this is a portal. Occult symbolism is so real what happened at the VMAs. Now let's look at Detroit, Michigan, what they just found in the middle of a road or in the middle of an area in Detroit, Michigan. Cho! Stop playing with me. At first it wasn't lit up, now they lighting it up. Stop playing with me. That's a portal. At first I was like, mm, maybe not a portal. Mm. But then I looked at the VMAs and I said, Sister, Sister Katie, and you know better, Katie. I'm going to leave you alone because we want you to come back. To... You know better, Katie. The last photo I would have put up on here is uh, Taylor Swift. She wore a dress, and it had UFOs all on it. Now, girly, I know you didn't want to wear that dress. That was not your pick because I'm a young lady, and I don't want to walk around with no UFOs on my dress. I don't think no, no young lady want to wear a UFO on a dress. Stop playing with me. Something is coming. They're trying to normalize. I told y'all the spirit realm, they are trying to literally bring that spirit world and merge it into our natural world, which I did a whole video. Please go see it because I did a, a better breakdown of what I'm doing. My emotions is I, I, I'm a little elevated right now because this blows me. It really the symbolism, the occultism that actually takes place. And people are linking up and coming to agreement with it for, for money that you won't even be here the rest of your life to enjoy, okay? You won't. I'm sorry. I said this in my other video. When it comes to the spirit realm and UFOs, it was something that people got laughed at. Matter of fact, they was trying for many years. People was having sightings of UFOs. I used to watch that TV show. I was supposed to be in bed, but I was watching the TV show about UFOs and how people would see sightings and all of a sudden people would go missing. And it was not talked about. That, that is something that they did not want people to come into a grip that this stuff is real. But that girl who, Sabrina, who over here playing and mouthing down because it was a demon. This the alien, it's a demon. It's demons, y'all, it's demons. And Sabrina, ain't you new? You real new. So they breaking you in real good. They got you over here kissing an alien, what looks like an alien, because they want to normalize it. They want people to begin to see and act like this is normal. Now y'all want to be real about the spirit. It's one thing to have symbolism and wearing the dress, but it's another thing to promote something like that, to promote kissing and that's different. You you different, Sabrina. You real different. You are a whole gift wasted. I be hating that because Sabrina, you really could sing, girl. Your whole gift just wasted, just wasted. 
Ooh. Mm -mm. Y'all remember, symbolism is everything because it tells a story. Uh, we know that the laws, when the dark kingdom of darkness is, it has to be in front of you. You have to come into agreement with it. So a lot of times they're showing us sim sim um, symbols and things of that nature because you have to be able, it has to be in the forefront. You have to be aware, somewhat aware of it, but but it's manipulation, it's trickery, it's, it, it, it's falseness in it. I don't know what they are preparing for. But clearly, they're preparing for something. Like never before, we've seen movies, these TV shows, all of this spiritual beings and spirits, and all of a sudden, everybody jumping on that train. But years ago, that was unheard of. You was laughed at. It was laughy, laughiness when, when you talked about it. I'm telling y'all something. This world is not playing, and we must be spiritually alert to see what's really going on. A lot of us don't want to see, you want to think everybody making up stuff. You think I just made that up? I just gave y'all two pictures of two different portals. One girl on stage and Katy Perry, bless your heart, you need to come back to God. You quit running because you're running. Sorry, y'all, that's the pastor kidding me. But she on stage with a portal and now they didn't put who? And then who put that in, in Detroit? And why y'all do that? Why Detroit? Because we know who's up in Detroit. I'm going to leave that alone. I got to leave. I got to leave it alone. If y'all think this is co-winky dinky. Mm. And portals, though, y'all think they portals? Or do y'all not think they portals? I think they portals. The only reason why I think that is because when we just saw in the last video, when the dude created one and them little sparks and stuff came flying off, it's like, wait a minute. If that can do it with that tiny thing, why it can't do it with a big ass? Hey. I'm going to be reaching. Hey guys, there is a woman named Candace. Um, I will tag her in this video who um, a day ago, yesterday, um, somebody sent me her video talking about today and tomorrow there will be massive UFO sightings in the sky. And first I went and asked seven and she tapped in and she said, uh -huh, some, they're coming some for some people. Um, there will be like, and I said that like there'll be abductions and she said no 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 just uh, ships will be in the sky so last night i went to bed and i woke up at three o'clock in the morning exactly on the dot and i heard go outside i went outside and i didn't see anything and i was kind of like okay i'm here um and then all of a sudden i got a download that came through so they told me in these places mount shasta mount baldy joshua tree uluru uh Cusco, peru uh machu picchu stonehenge there's one more. So basically significant ley lines, these are where these these ships will be seen the most. Um, we're not gonna be able to get up to uh, Joshua Tree today, so they just told me to get out of places where there are light pollution. Um, they said between the hours of 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. also um, at, at dusk and dawn, it's the in-between spots are when they're gonna be most visible. Um, it does have to do with, it's a frequency thing, so not everybody's going to be able to see them. They have picked some people that are asleep to be able to see them for validation purposes. So they're essentially gonna bring their frequency to raise it so that some of those people can see it too. Um, but I was really like, I hear these claims a lot, um, so I'm usually skeptical. And I am a psychic, but I'm also a human. So as Candace says in her video, we're not always right, and um, I'm just I'm just trusting them. What my guides are saying is correct, and since it didn't come initially from them, it could be that I'm my intention of wanting this to happen because I do um, could influence it. But seven's pretty neutral, so um, I, I do have a feeling that there's going to be a pretty big uptick today and tomorrow. And um, when I asked what what why is this happening now, they said that they're coming to these specific ley lines um, to grid the earth, um, to help with the ascension symptoms because so many people are complaining about them. Um, so good news, I guess this is gonna get a little better for some of us. And also um, they're getting Pachamama, Mother Earth ready for her ascension. So um, they're also assisting in that with her. So go outside, 
humble yourself in front of the stars. And I love this because this is what Chris Bledsoe says and it so resonates with me. I always say, say open your heart, whatever. Ask for permission and then also ask, I would like to, I would like, I would like to see you. I would like, you know, a, a permission to connect basically. And um, if you do that, um, don't hold any, you can't hold any frequency of want or need as seven said many times because that will that will be the wrong frequency it's just if it's ready if it's ready if it's time please show this to me and um the place that we would usually go interestingly enough um is uh right around here it's on fire right now so Tribico canyon we can't go there so i think we're going to head somewhere close to the beach where the light pollution is lesser because we won't be able to see them if in the sky they were very clear about this fact if the light pollution is too much and if there's a lot of cloud covering in the sky which joshua tree um, mount baldy mount shasta those places if you're in california will be clear um oddly they did they threw in louisville kentucky too interestingly enough not sure um what they, they i just remembered that but like uluru those places that have key component like ley line um they're very very powerful hot spots those are the places where it's going to be the most active so most of you know i work with the spirit molecule if i use my medicine and i go look out into the sky some nights i can see many because it uncloaks things i can see many 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 ships in the sky um, they, some of them are triangular, which I'm aware are, are government's crafts. I can tell because it has a center G pod in the middle of it. And you can see like rivets, almost like struts kind of, uh, the ships that are true galactic ships, they're smooth. There's no, none of that. And they give off an emanation of like, of communication with you when you, you kind of communicate like a tick, 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 it's a back and forth thing you can take a laser and you can tick, 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 and we were doing morse code to them saying i love you and they'll blink back oh this is the, okay i knew i was mentioning that okay this is how you will also know that the communication they will be showing up in a triangular formation blinking three times this is what to look for this is the specific key that you're also getting communication with them they're speaking back to you so if you look for that and you see that tonight please let me know because i would love validation on this as well and um, yeah, you guys, it's getting going and it's a super exciting time to be alive. I hope you guys feel this way too. There is truly nothing to fear. They are here to help us. They are assisting us in so many ways. And um, most of you guys know I had surgery and they also explained to me, this is why we had to have the surgery. We, we got to have the surgery because some of the energies that had gotten stuck in me um, were so dense that I wouldn't have been able to receive this activation that came through. And Seven and I did a healing on this wonderful lady today, and she led the whole thing. And she's like, things that take me 20 minutes to do on TikTok, and Seven, she's, she was jamming through in 30 seconds. And so they were telling me this is also going to be an upgrade to my healing um, energies, to my frequency to be able to help other people heal themselves. So there's a lot of components for each of you. If you're healers, those are things that'll be happening to you as well. You will be receiving upgrades in those kinds of fashions. If you're psychics, if you're um, working with the, the grids, the, um, the earth grids, you will be getting upgrades, advanced upgrades. If you are a key holder, you will be getting more of your own blueprint. If you have been um, receiving blueprints, more of that energy will come through and will be visible within your um, within your vessel and um, those of you who astral travel and astral project um, things of that nature you will be able to um, they're kind of showing me it as go farther um, because there's certain things that you we can't um, our, our energetic cord will only go so, so far to certain densities like we, we can't go to the 11th density it's entirely too far it would, it, the silver cord would pop so there's guides in place that don't allow you to do that anyways. But my, my point is, if you already do this, you will be able to go a density farther. So this is a really, really exciting time and I'm super stoked to see um, what comes through. And then for the physicists and things like that that are already working on advanced technology and free energy stuff, it's about to get real fun. So um, let me know what happens guys and just go out under the skies tonight. And even if you don't live in one of those places, just do it anyway and see what happens. Let me know. Love you. It took me the first time I heard somebody. I said this before. I said the, the UFOs that are actual extraterrestrials, they would show up in Morse code. They would show up in a triangular formation. And they normally would show up over the pyramids of Giza.
writing formation of the geezers, one small, medium, and large. And they would blink three times. And when they spoke in Morse code, it's like they show up in the lights and the lights would show and they show up in Morse code as giving us the message. And they would normally, you know, reach out and say, hello, children of earth. When she said that, it took me this long to find somebody else just to say that. And I had no idea that was even in the clip. That right there is crazy. But it just, I'm glad that I heard it again because I haven't heard it since. And I didn't want to make sure I'm tripping like, am I tripping? Did I actually hear that in the video? Like, she confirmed it. But do y'all believe her? Did, like, of course, when this video come out, those dates will pass. But did anybody see that? And I'm asking because I asked y'all recently about the Bigfoot and Sasquatch. And somebody told me, a dude told me how he got picked up by a Bigfoot and Sasquatch. And he got twirled around like a baton. Yeah, bro, I read your comment. I, I appreciate that y'all be dropping with y'all y'all experiences. It gives me an opportunity to learn, hear, and just, yeah, vibe out with what y'all saying. Hear y'all out. Like, I'm actually curious about that. So I appreciate when y'all do that. So thank you. That gave his testimony about the interdimensional beings at the Bayside Shopping Mall in Florida. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, my name is Fitz. I, um... I was there at the Bayside Mall with my family. So the very first video on Guy Named Fitz's account is him giving his testimony about what happened. I find it kind of strange that this guy's entire account is based off that alien sighting at the Bayside Shopping Center. Which leads me to believe it's a PSYOPs. This all conveniently happened around the same time that they released some confidential court dockets to the public regarding the Epstein client case. But I do find it interesting, there's a seven part series on his account. What made our situation a little bit different is that I do have footage. Um, and I didn't take it on a smartphone. But he did come out and say that sometimes when he goes out in public, he carries around a VHS camcorder that he's able to record on. I do take a VHS camcorder. Um, and that night when everyone was getting their phones confiscated and files deleted, nobody noticed that I had a VHS camcorder. Yeah, I have the footage here. I'm a firm believer that when they fired up the LHC at CERN, it inevitably tore holes in the fabric of our realities. I know for a fact alternate dimensions are opening up to and folding into and onto our reality. We are three and four dimensional beings on the cusp of being able to experience five, six, and seven D consciousness. You know, you know, bad people found out that we did. I don't know how, um, but they did. And things kind of went downhill from there. But we've already been planning uh, a release of the footage. Because um, a lot of other stuff happened that night that people don't know about. I've seen those black antimatter sea urchin beings in shadow work meditation. It's like a seventh dimensional symbiote. Because we thought, you know, just for our safety, it would be good to put it out there that we had it. Keep in mind that as we tap into 5, 6, and 7D consciousness, we're not only going to be able to see the spirits of light, we will also be able to see the inverted shadows of darkness. We see the cause of to go. We're incinerating this bastard. Is that a moon? Look how pretty that moon is. This is beautiful. Look at that. I just noticed that. That's beautiful. The moon just sitting there. Weird, we 
know it's an emergency, but it looks very clear. I think it looks great right now. And by the way, so does that. <clears throat> so sometimes when you're that big, right, you kind of fix stuff. But, you know, there still is a moon. I've been doing some research, and this video is for entertainment purposes only, TikTok. I'm going to make this short and sweet. If you know someone who has been eating MD fries, Chick-fil-A patties. <clears throat> Any entity that has told you on social media that their product is not real, stay away from them. Share this. Stay away from them. There is a high probability that something is about to be activated. For all those who loved and indulged and enjoyed those things. I want y'all to remember this. Even though they could have went on social media on the platforms and found out that 90% of what they are serving you is not food. It was made in a laboratory. It was made in a laboratory before a reason. Remember the government said people are going to start looking weird and acting weird? Here it come. If you have a daughter or mama or grandma who says she loves McDonald's, get away from them. Chick-fil-A, get away from them. Some of these people are finna transform into something you ain't never seen and they don't even know it yet. You got to admit this. The government told them it was going to happen to them. They just enjoyed it while it was. <laughs> hey, y'all, 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 green. All right, y'all. Check this out. This statue is in St. Louis. You have an obvious beheading and the blindfold. Kind of tattered, so he was obviously held captive for a while. Check his hair. Okay. And his eyes. His eyes are wide open, but they're also hollow. I'll show you why in a second. This, this little thing that, you know, everybody runs through the water. Bring your babies to run through the water and stuff, right? Symbolizes the blood. Okay. Now, for his eyes, let me show you why his eyes are open. His head is hollow. As you walk into his head, you can see the view. The last thing he saw, which is behind this tree, you can't see it. I'm about to show you what it is. Let me show you what it is that he's looking at. Uh, right across the way, we have the arch. Right up under the arch is the old courthouse. Hmm. 
tell me something, TikTok. What you think that means? What do you think this means? Let me go ahead and get a picture of a plaque because I need to Google this. We need to look this up. Look this up, y'all. Let me know what you find. I'll tell you what I find. If if that if if they took their time to make all those things symbolize what I'm think what I'm thinking that she was getting at, that's crazy as shit. Talk about somebody trolling, bro. They trolling for sure with that one. Damn, was that name Aris Bendado? Is that what that said? Was that an S at the end? I'm gonna have to go back and look. If y'all know anything, spam that up, man. That shit crazy if that's the case. Hey, what's up, America? So we need to talk about the world of NPCs for a little while because that shit's really <laughs> out of control. So yes, the NPC theory or the non-playable character theory. Now, of course, this is just all opinion, but I believe that I'm stuck in some type of odd circadian rhythm that the Matrix has set for me where it purposely puts non-playable <laughs> characters in my way to hold me back from doing anything I want to do or attaining any success whatsoever. I've had things that I've had right in front of my face disappear completely, never to be seen again, that I needed right then and there. It's one of those things where you desperately need to be somewhere on time, and the whole way there, it's like having obstacles just being fired at you like little missiles but then to accomplish whatever you're doing and on the way home not a single car gets in your way and you hit every green light when it doesn't matter <laughs> and it only stops you when it does matter now this type of thing happens to me every single day and has been happening to me for 25 straight years without any fail whatsoever no matter what i do i have to do it twice or more in order to make it work and even if i have the skill it doesn't matter the tool will fail or the fastener will strip there's always something to me up in some cases the laws of physics actually stop functioning around me and gravity will do things like work in opposite directions so you'll drop a two by four and it will flip upwards hell in my opinion i don't even think half of these people are even real seriously have you been to walmart have you seen some of this how the can half of the population even be real in your way and after they've done their job of getting in your way they turn off without consequence and you can't do anything to basically go against it because they were there just to f with you and then fittered off and osmos into the atmosphere like a fart in the fucking wind <laughs> now if that's the case i'm just gonna have to tell the matrix i don't want to be controlled by your shitty circadian rhythm it sucks i know this sounds up, but if I woke up one day and half the population just disappeared, I wouldn't give a flying I actually welcome it. That's right, I welcome it. I welcome half the population just randomly disappearing one day. That way I can get to my fucking destination on time without some dipshit getting in my way on purpose just to fuck with me. That's the only reason the person was even created, just to be a stumbling block in life, and that's it. I don't know what it is with the Matrix. I don't know what it is with the NPCs. But your stumbling block tactics are f***ing stupid. It's something a bitch would do. I mean, it's to the point sometimes where the texture of my fingerprints will start to smoothen out so I drop things. And so I'll wake up in the morning and I can pick up stuff and then all of a sudden it's like I have butter for fingers only to have it come back and work again when it's not necessary. Or here's another one. Yeah, here's another one. I'll tell my wife something like, oh, look over there, there's a cow on fire or something. And she'll look over there, and whatever it is will hide behind a tree so I look like I'm insane, only to pass the field of vision, and there it is, practically waving and winking at me. To the point where I told my wife that many times until she finally saw what was happening. It was like my field of vision was rotating around stuff so people couldn't see what I was seeing on purpose. I mean, I know that sounds crazy, but is there any way to break the fucking matrix or get it to leave me the mother alone? <laughs> hey, bro got me weak, bro. That was a good ass laugh. But I, I ain't gonna lie, that's happened to me or has this happened to y'all where y'all in traffic and you like, hey, look at that. And whatever you looking at gets blocked by another car. 
Bro, tell me that don't piss y'all off. Or if you see something you looking at, fellas, y'all see something y'all looking at and y'all looking hard, and then the car come and take the vision away, it be like, bruh. <laughs> Bro, what is you doing? Bro, this is the worst time you want to pull up right now. You couldn't see that was over there. You could have just gave me some space so I could peep out. But, man, yeah. Dude had me weak. But he right. Hey, I also seen, I seen something where I saw a cat. I saw two cats getting it in. And I was trying to tell who I was with. I saw two cats. Before I could say something. We rolled by, we tried to go back by again, the cats was gone. I seen it a second time, I tried to show my sister, and she didn't see it. I said, you didn't see them cats? And she was like, nah. It, it I, I don't know, man. Cause soon as we saw them, it was like, soon as we was walking, the building was cutting us off. And I was like, look, look right there. We went back, it was gone. I hate that shit, bro. Tell me if I'm tripping or if he tripping. Y'all agree? Y'all don't agree. But. Y'all know we made it to the end of this. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you always notify whenever we drop them uploads. Y'all know we coming with about four videos every smooth seven, man. And this is for entertainment purposes as well. And when you like and comment and subscribe to the channel, helps collective grow, helps collective get bigger, helps more people who like this type of content. Tap in with this content. But I love y'all collective. And even if you haven't subbed up and you just like coming to the channel for whatever the case is, I appreciate you too. I hope you having a smooth seven. But until I see y'all in the next one, man, y'all know what it is. We gone. Yeah, mm, I just check my count. Check. Sheesh, at the amount. You probably